How did you convince your family to let you climb Mount Everest? Uh, a lot of people think it was like a, a shock question, but it wasn't. It was a, yes, it was a shock, but it was a gradual uh, um, sort of chipping away at the that box they put me in. So I started off with smaller mountains and I slowly started to gradually do bigger mountains and bigger mountains until one day I decided to actually climb Everest. And uh, I remember I was in Antarctica and it was a few days prior to my, before my birthday. And my father calls me on the sat phone and says, oh, happy birthday, uh, you fly back, what do you want for your birthday? And I said, Everest. <laughs> and that's where the whole idea continued, like blew up. It was just a, a, a request I had. And of course it took a lot, a lot of time to convince him, but eventually I think my passion and my uh, persistence paid off. It definitely did. You climbed <laughs> Mount Everest at seven summer. Yeah, I still can't <laughs> believe it's next. It's really strange when people tell me, of, or, you know, what it's next. I usually say Denali, but now <laughs> I finished Denali, so I'm like, next um, is is probably a, yes. an, another mountain. No, another mountain, but an emotional mountain, which is my oh. book. I'm trying to get my book published, so that's my next mountain. Interesting, emotional one. An emotional mountain for sure. So what advice would you have for young women who are looking to break down societal barriers? Um, first of all, never be afraid to fail. There's no shame in failing whatsoever. It means that you're trying something different. The only shame is in giving up and not trying something new. So don't ever be afraid to, sh to, to fail. Uh, wear your scars with pride. They shape your soul and just don't ever get, get uh, demotivated because something didn't work out once. I've heard no so many times, but I take it as an invitation. So always try to turn it into a positive and, and take these barriers as a bar to jump over, not as something to, put, to pull you down. Not a limit. Not a limit. A starting point. Starting point. Starting I love point. that. <laughs>